Hi everyone, it's Mari from Dudos da Mari on Instagram. Thank you so much for being here with me today. And this video, uh, in this video, I'm actually going to show you a, a little bit about my first time going to a pen meetup. And while I pack everything that I wanted to bring with me to the meetup, I w just wanted to talk to you a little bit uh, about uh, the last video that we that I uploaded. We had over um, a thousand views, which is a lot for me in my very small channel. So thank you all very much for watching it and for uh, sticking with me. Um, I would actually uh, particularly like to thank everyone for leaving comments with their own experiences with Hobonichi's with a soft cover. That was really helpful to me, but hopefully helpful to other people as well. Um, but yeah, so thank you so much. And I think we have a lot of people coming in uh, to this channel. So uh, if you stuck around from that one, that one video, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, but basically this part of the video, I'm just showing what I wanted to bring with me to the pen club meeting. Uh, what I bought brought with me was actually all of my inked pens for the month. Uh, I also brought my ink journal. I brought a TN with a watercolor insert. Uh, I'm going to show you why soon. Uh, but I also brought with me another planner that I don't show here often, which is sort of like an ink and pen catalog uh, in my pocket uh, rings planner, which is this one that it's being shown right now. So this is all of all of the things that I carried with me. My hopes was that I was going to be able to talk to people after the demonstration that they were going to have. But unfortunately, I had to leave earlier, so I didn't really have the time to interact with with a lot of people in the end. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to the next meeting. But as for the meeting itself it was actually one of the members demonstrating how they produce art with fountain pen inks uh, so basically what they do is uh, sort of like a watercolor painting with fountain pen ink uh, this is a very nice way to show some chromatography um, so you will be able to see particularly in the most complex inks how the different colors that comp that are part of the ink kind of separates with water. Um, so it was a really fun demonstration. I brought my TN with a watercolor insert, insert because I was hoping to get some um, testing done over there. Uh, but again, unfortunately, I wasn't able to do that there. But as soon as I got home, uh, I brought out my watercolor notebook and just tried it just before I, I forget anything. I said, you know what, let's just go ahead and try it. So I'm just showing you here my first attempt uh, to do some of the paintings. Uh, and then for this painting, I'm using Colorverse Brunch Date, which is an, an ink that a lot of people really likes, really like, uh, but I particularly don't love this ink. It's it's a fine ink, but it's just not particularly a color that uh, appeals to me. I realized after I bought the entire bottle, but it's okay. Um, regarding the painting itself, you can see that I struggled a lot with uh, how much water I was putting down. Um, one tip that they taught, taught us is that you can actually um, tape the watercolor paper into the table so it doesn't warp uh, as much and I wouldn't necessarily have as much trouble as I did uh, with water accumulating over one side of the painting. But I think, you know, overall for a first attempt, it went fine. It's definitely not nearly as pretty as what they were demonstrating over there and what I saw on several YouTube channels uh, from people that actually do really cool paintings with fountain pen ink. But I think, you know, for a first attempt is not super bad and it allowed me to understand a little bit better what are the things that I'm struggling with uh, and what would I change whenever I try this next, right? So yeah, it was fun. Um, 
I'm not sure how much I'm actually going to try to do that just because I have a really bad habit of not using my watercolor stuff. Uh, so we'll see. Hopefully I'll try to venture through this more often. But yeah, it's not super great. But for a first attempt, I would say not too bad either. Um, yeah, and then after that, after I did my um, kind of practice, uh, I actually did some journaling. But before the journaling, I actually wanted to show you the things that I got at Wet Paint because the pen club meeting was actually held at Wet Paint, which is um, sort of like a fine arts um, store, but they also sell um, fountain pens. So I actually ended up buying one brush, watercolor brush, round brush, and then one. Uh, Moon Man fountain pen with a food and nib. So this is my first time using a food and nib, uh, and it was really fun. I really, really liked this pen. It's, I don't know how else to say it, but it's just fun. Food and nibs are super fun. If you haven't tried one, uh, I highly encourage. Uh, and then I'm using the packaging from the things that I bought at Wet Paints as ephemera for my journaling. So what I'm doing here is I'm journaling in my uh, Hobonichi Weeks journal and I use the notes pages whenever I want to journal specifically about one day or one event. Um, so I use this part of the journal to do all of the ephemera that I want, to use all of the photos that I want. So if you have seen my currently um, in use video which I in which I show all of the planners and journals that I'm using you would see that I mentioned that this is the only journal that I actually put some photos in uh, so it's starting to get a little bit bulky but I kind of like it not always though sometimes towards the end of the year I kind of wish I haven't put so many things right because it starts to get hard to write uh, but in the end, I really like how it looks. I like um, being able to use all of the things that I get, even the packaging. I think it's fun. So that's what I'm trying to do with this journal. And this part of the journal, actually the notes pages, this is something that I rarely show on YouTube and Instagram, uh, just because it tends to be a little bit more personal. I put fo photos of uh, me and my husband with our friends. So. It tends to be a little bit more personal, so this, this is a kind of a rare sighting <laughs> of my notes pages. Uh, but yeah, I, and I still do journal um, sort of like a few phrases per day on the weekly pages. And for those ones, I like to record them and put them here on YouTube as well. You might have noticed that I haven't been done doing that in quite some time. And this is not because I haven't been recording, although I haven't been recording so consistently, but this is mostly because I'm over a month behind in my weekly journal or my, my journaling in the weekly pages of my Hobonichi. Uh, so yeah, I'm over a month behind. So once I get that behind, it's kind of hard to catch up. I don't know if you guys are like that as well. Um, so every time I'm, I start falling behind, it, it gets harder to catch up. So I need to try to get back into that so it doesn't go uh, blank, right? I, I kind of want to uh, still fill those out and journal about those past weeks. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see if I can upload some more videos on that as well. Uh, but other than that, I'm also, as you can see here, I'm trying to do a more conscious effort to use my stamps. I really like stamps. I have a bunch of stamps that I purchased. Uh, I even purchased like four sets of clear stamps in the past two weeks. Uh, but I rarely use my stamps and I think, you know, the main reason is because it is kind of a hassle, if I'm being honest, to take them out, um, use them and then clean them and put them away. Uh, but I really enjoy them. So I'm trying to be a little bit more conscious and trying to use them more often. 
Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm basically trying to do here. So I think that's pretty much it for this video. So you're going to see that after I finish stamping, I'm going to do some uh, journaling. It's going to be really short. That's how I usually like to do on those notes pages, just like one paragraph and then just add all of the decorations that I want. Um, because I do have my longhand journal that I kind of write a little bit more every day. So my the purpose of this Hobonichi Weeks journal is that I have something that is very portable and that is concise enough that I can flip through it and quickly be reminded of the things that I did during those weeks or days or months, right? Uh, so my, the purpose or my intent with it, it is indeed to be a little bit more concise in terms of writing. Um, so yeah, I, I actually really like the way I approach this journaling here in my Hobonichi, but uh, as I'm finishing my spread, I just wanted to, uh, again, thank you all for all of the support that you have been giving me in the past few um, weeks and months that I've been recently uh, re-uploading videos again. Um, but uh, also I would like to ask um, if any of you ever tried watercoloring with fountain pen inks, uh, and if you did, please feel free to leave me tips down below. Uh, I think it's really interesting and really fun, um, but I think I have a long way to go uh, in, in terms of being good at it or, you know, doing something that I would be happy with the end product. And then also let me know if you ever, if you have ever been to a pen meeting. This was my first time. And again, unfortunately, I wasn't able to really interact with people. So I'm really hopeful that Next month, I will be able to talk to more people and learn from them a little bit more. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I will leave you guys to the rest of the video, but thanks again so much for watching it. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.